What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Those Nights of Warriors 3 Infant Cycle, where we will be going for the good ending in this video. In this video. Sorry if I messed up my words. But anyways, without further ado, we'll go for the good ending, starting in the first living room, see what it's offer for us. And the first music box piece is in the first living room, that's why I say that. And to get the music box piece, which this will be a how-to video, um... You have to click on this picture a couple of times. And that brings you into a mini game like it does here. And I'm adjusting the brightness so my camera will focus because apparently it doesn't focus well on this. But anyways, um, for this mini game you play as Ashley and um, a YouTuber told me um, you just have to keep going until you find the music box piece. Gotta keep walking forward until you find the music box piece. Hopefully we're going to find it soon. Alright, we got the first music box piece. Perfect. Let me see what happens next. Oh, it just brings you back to the menu. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me think. What am I going to do? Because it brings you back to the menu after getting the first piece. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know what to do here. Let me think. Hmm. Alright, so I guess this time I'll just play through the, the night. Because we have to play through the night in order to get to the next room. But I'm actually going to adjust my brightness real quickly, just just because it focuses better in a normal room. So we got the first music box piece, which is located in the first uh, living no, room. I'm going to make the phone call since I already heard it and know how to play it. But, um, yeah, this will just be a how-to for the good ending. For the first living room, you have to look away from Wario, put the camera up for Waluigi. Alright, and this is actually going to be part one of going for the good ending for this video, because I didn't realize it would take this long, so this will be part one. And then we'll probably do three or four parts, depending on how many rooms i got to do. So let me think. Yeah, here Wario and Waluigi moving. That's what I know. Up oh, Waluigi, put up the camera. Up oh, Wario's here, we gotta look away from him. So that's how you do it. You look away from Mario, Waluigi put the camera up. And like I said, this will be a how to video. These next couple videos I'm doing for the good ending. Mario leave? Okay, go. And when I and when I find the music box pieces for these rooms, um, I will mute the phone call just because I've already heard them and know how to do these rooms. Okay, here they're moving. So yeah, so that picture right there, you just click on until you get a mini game, and then you go for the music box piece. And for the first living room, we played as Ashley in the mini game. And I don't even know who that guy is in the picture, but that looks like Wario, and he's kind of creepy if you ask me.
and I forgot to point this out on back in the back in the save file section um, it shows the music box pieces you get which is pretty cool which the first music box piece we got was the handle which is the part that winds it up and plays music yeah, and this and this game remind this game definitely reminds me of Final Fantasy Warriors 3, this whole good ending thing, because because in this game, just like with Final Fantasy Warriors 3, you have to go f assemble the music box in order to get the good ending. And then for the and then to go for the bad ending, you just have to beat Knife Five. Oh, and I just saw Wario there, so I had to look away from him. I'm just having some water if you're wondering. Gotta stay hydrated, of course. Okay, let me see. What's next? Oh, we're at 5 a.m. already? Okay, cool. Yeah, these nights tend to go by fast. That's the thing. Oh, Waluigi's here. Gotta put the camera up. Check for Wario. Okay, nope. Wario, I dealt with already, so he's not here. I still with Waluigi. And we've beaten the living room, the first living room. We got the first music box piece, so that's a good thing. Now we gotta go for the second music box piece. Alright. Okay, so the second music box piece is in the kitchen, which we will take on the kitchen in part one of the good ending as well in this video. So, we'll go for the kitchen without further ado. And I will adjust the brightness because the picture. Let me see. Hey, wait. Let me do the phone call. Let me see. Where's the picture? Oh, this. Oh, we have to click on the stove. Okay. Okay. So. So for the kitchen, you have to click on the stove in order to get the music box piece. And for this mini game, we are playing as Yoshi. Well, I mean, I gotta adjust the brightness. Sorry about that. All right, let's let's go for the second music box piece. Same thing as the other mini game. Keep going until you get it. All right, we got the second music box piece. Let's see what it is. Um, Okay, the second music box piece we got is the bottom part of the, um, of the, what is it? Of this, this handle right here. That's what it is. And like I said, it brings us back to the menu, and for the next video, or, sorry, hold on, I gotta put on the brightness again. Next thing we'll do, we will play out the kitchen in order to get to night three, which I'll do that right now. Since we gotta get do the kitchen in order to get to night three. Anyways, without further ado, we'll do the kitchen. Well, this time we'll play it out in order to get to night three. It's interesting how the stove is the mechanic. It's interesting how the stove is where you gotta get the other music box piece. I was trying to figure out which cameras we had to look at in order to use the microwave because I haven't played this room in a while, so I kind of forgot about it. But I remember now: first living rooms for Luigi, the hallways for Yoshi. 
So we gotta check those cameras. Whoever leaves, we have to turn on the microwave. And the and the beeping noise will scare them off. Okay, I just saw Luigi, so I gotta I gotta use the microwave on him soon. First, I gotta recharge the camera. Which is what we'll do. Did he leave? I think he just left, so I gotta turn on the microwave. Okay, I, w I wasn't paying attention to Luigi. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> God, I was. I kind of forgot how to play out the kitchen because I haven't done it in a long time. But now I know what to do with the kitchen. I just remembered. I haven't played this in a long time, so I kind of forgot about it. We have to check the hallway and the first living room. Whoever leaves, and if Yoshi or Luigi leave, we have to turn on the microwave. Or I think if one of them appears on that camera, we have to turn it on. I'm not sure yet. I think we have to turn on the microwave. Once they appear on the camera, then they leave. I just rem I just remembered. Oh wait, I just remembered. If Yoshi or Luigi appear, if Yoshi appears in the hallway, or if Luigi appears in the first living room, we have to turn on the microwave in order to scare them off. So we gotta do it when they leave, or I think now or something. Let me turn on the microwave. There you go, got rid of Yoshi and Luigi, okay. So right when they leave, oh wait, I got rid of Luigi, now I have to get rid of Yoshi. Okay, so right when they leave, we have to turn on the microwave. I just remember that because I, I didn't even realize that until I was dealing with Luigi. And then he jump scared me because I forgot. <laughs> Let me make sure the microwave is re rebooting because the microwave has to recharge in order for me to deal with Yoshi. Yoshi left, turn on the microwave. Hopefully this will scare him off, because I need to use this microwave to scare him off. There you go, got rid of Yoshi. Now you gotta check for Luigi. He's not in the living room. Yoshi I saw in the hallway. I just got rid of him, so that's good. Now I gotta get rid of Luigi next. And it's a good thing I just remembered how to do the hall, the kitchen, because I completely forgot about it in the beginning until I got jump scared by Luigi. Ugh, it's been a long time since I last done this room. Oh, Luigi's here. Alright, I gotta pay attention to him. Okay, microwave's recharged. Good. So now let's check for Luigi and Yoshi too. I saw him in the dining room. Is Yoshi in the hallway? Oh wait, he's in the hallway. Luigi's coming. Turn on the microwave. Hopefully I can. Hopefully it's, it'll scare him off in time because that's what that's what worries me about this room. There we go. Got Luigi. Check for Yoshi. Did I scare off Yoshi or something or no? I don't know. I saw him in the hallway briefly. But I don't think I scared him off. I think I got rid of Luigi. 
I don't think I got rid of Yoshi. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm kind of. I'm kind of confused right now. Did I get rid of Yoshi or did I not get rid of him? Hmm. That's what I'm confused about. Oh, there's Yoshi. He's, in, he's back in the hallway. Good. Okay, I got rid of Yoshi that time. Okay, good. For a second, I thought I didn't get rid of Yoshi, but I got rid of him. Because I was dealing with Luigi, and I saw Yoshi on the camera, and I thought, okay, I got rid of him, but... Huh. Okay, I see, I'm still seeing Yoshi on the camera. I'm checking for Luigi. And we beat the kitchen and got the second music piece, so that's a good thing. Alrighty. Okay, so the next music... Alright, so... The next music box piece is located... Um... Let me think. It's actually not located in one of these rooms. It's actually located in the, uh... The next two music boxes are located in the third living room and the second bedroom. Which we will do those two rooms in part two of Going for the Good Ending. Which will be in the next video. So I will end my video here. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.